Yeah. I think it's just uh, lack of punish game, uh, not being as strong. But mm -hmm. super enjoyable person. We're going to see how this goes down starting at PS2. Uh, like we predicted. Oh, we got the drill shot in grab. Okay, start the tech chase. I look at his tech roll doesn't look that good, so I like the down throw in the corner. Mm -hmm. And it was, I mean, good just to go straight for down throw, especially being at the ledge, making sure that. Yeah, you, you can cover everything that way. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know how reliable up throw combos are against Lucario. Yeah, this is looking kind of depressing at the moment because. Whenever he goes to center stage, or when they both meet up, uh, Arsenal's just winning the immediate scramble situation, pushing him to the corner uh, with like wave shine grab. Ooh, okay, gets the Lucario combo going, but doesn't yeah. get the follow up, doesn't get like a reset. Oh, mixing it up, going for that footstool up air into just to continue the combo, gonna kill off the top, yeah. Because, I mean, Heavy's not gonna help you, especially with dying yeah. off the top. Yeah, footstool falling up air, and down there, I think, are like the biggest things that PM Foxes need to start employing more. Mm -hmm. um, because down throw, it makes it so that like heavy characters that you aren't normally able to combo, you can just reaction tech chase, which is super important. And the footstool falling up there is just such a great combo extender that Fox yeah. wouldn't otherwise have access to. I've seen a lot of Foxes also implement drill, but there's a lot of times that they're not getting like a big punish off of it. Yeah. So up air really does work. Yeah. Fade away drill is. This, it's definitely not a PM specific thing, but it's definitely become more popular in both melee and PM thanks to like lots of like top players like Leffen or or Armada. Ooh, not a big distance, just getting that media up smash going on the platform, but not getting a punish afterwards. Oh, to... goes for the chamber. I think he should have just gone for the up smash cancel right there mm -hmm. and kept the juggle going. He had a big miss timing, especially when it comes to uh, furthering the tech chase, and I think. Getting that Ooh, wake up shot is really gonna hurt. Fade in drill gets a nice cross. Yeah. I love okay, so I love that's a, a new thing that people started doing off of wave shot is instead of grab or up smash, they do up tilt. They do turn around up tilt mm -hmm. to put them on the other side and then you can get an airplane going. You can get an airplane or you can do what we just discussed earlier, which was the uh, footstool off of it, because off of like small launchers of like falling up air, up tilt, uh, even up throw, you can just go straight uh, full hop. Um, Footstool into whatever yeah, you feel like. Yep, yep, yep. So I'm thinking. So Fat and FD got banned, which is smart. I think Green Hill is probably smart. Battlefields, okay, that's. I never think Battlefields like too bad of an idea. You would probably want to limit the space. I feel like, uh, yeah. Especially since you're starting off in that wider space or stage. I know Arsenal's being very, very uh, comfortable with. Yeah, PS2. I think the movement was definitely more in Arsenal's favor. So. Uh, Having less face gives, because uh, when Wolf was getting his hands on it, he was doing fine. It was just harder to get his hands on it. Ooh, just started. Oh, there's the up smash. But, but still messing it up after the Aura Spear Yeah, I didn't get the chain continued. Yeah, you definitely cannot miss stuff like that. Ooh, that, that was, was... These are super good weights right now. Yeah, his timing's really good, especially, uh, like I was saying earlier, his punish game isn't bad just following onto platforms, and that's going to get him a really, really good stock, not building up a lot of percent. Uh, uh, Arsenal's. Arsenal's. These these are have been really good like platform tech chases and I think the the closeness Whoa. together of the stage is like really helping him get things started. That was a really 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 good punish. <laughs> just going for it kind of reminds me I don't know just using Marth as an example just yeah. early up tilt into that early dare uh, just yep. waiting for him to fall down and then just drop zone side B. Yep. Goodness gracious. Mario's side B spike is actually. When it when it is a spiking of the ore is one of the strongest spikes in the game and you Fox is just gonna die at like zero almost. Mm -hmm. But this counter pick working out very well just using the platforms just to tech chase. Uh, the space doesn't really seem to be that big of a problem for Arsenal's, I think is just getting his ground. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's getting like flustered and cornered a little too much, mm -hmm. it looks like. Uh, whereas he was able to regain his fitting if anything ever went wrong in the last game. Yeah, but working really well off platforms right now, just doing follow or Falling back airs, short hop nairs, just to stuff out the approaches. Uh, you're not really seeing wood come in with any like specific hitboxes. Ooh, tries to get the dash and grab. I so that's a big problem a lot of people have is they dash back and then they dash and immediately grab. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times you just need to dash back and wait and then respond because people just have a tendency to autopilot their movement, which is like a big problem for like a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But waiting is broken, everyone. Yeah, I mean, especially if people aren't going to be very cognizant of how they're moving, uh, that's when you start creating patterns and then you can yeah. just punish off of that. Yeah, that's when overshooting is like, 
you get into a problem where people are going to overshoot against you and you really can't do that much about it because you're dash dancing rhythmically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's really easy to catch on. I completely agree. And Ooh. Fox is amazing at overshooting thanks to like overshoot Nair or just running shine. Overshoot Nair, running shine, dash attack, uh, run up down tilt. Yep, run up yeah. down tilt. Those I think running shine is the biggest example because it's so safe. Mm -hmm. And that was really good getting that early jab, or not even early jab, just late jab going to knock him up into up smash. Uh, it's gonna bring it back to an even game. Oh, he really? just ran up and did it. So he got the jab, but he didn't position himself for a further Ooh. punish. He went for that back dash. That was great SDI to get out of this wave shine. Yeah, Arsenal's playing it super safe. Wave shine's still guaranteed even if you do SDI, but it makes it more difficult. And that is part of this game is making things more difficult, even if they are guaranteed. Mm -hmm. That was really good just to use his aura. Just to mix up the timing of when he lands so it's not punished because he recognized Arsenal's being in that position. Great couch cancel. I think he it would benefit him a lot to like mix in just like run up down tilt to break the crouches. Mm -hmm. is it, the sweet spot on down tilt is a meteor. Ooh, just jumps over and back airs and that's it. Not super, super rough. You definitely could tell that Arsenal's playing a lot more patient. Uh, he was... In that last stock, he was opting for double lasers, and I think that was helping him out a lot, especially not investing in position and then just punishing off of wherever he was going to land. But that was a really, really good game. Yeah, from Wood. Wood started out really strong, and then he just got a little antsy. Mm -hmm. There's definitely some nerves going on there. But still, uh, showing Wood is not a player you should really uh, sleep on. Don't sleep on.